Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to easily clean your washing machine using nothing more than a few household items. Now, you might ask yourself, why do you want a clean washing machine? Well, one of the biggest reasons is to deodorize. You know, if you don't clean these things at least once a year, which is what I do, moisture can build up in there and other gunk and things like that, and it kind of develops a funk. So. I always found cleaning them at least once a year to be really beneficial because sometimes I could notice the smell from the washing machine if I don't wash it will actually go into my clothes, which is no bueno. Now there's products out there like Afresh that uh, clean your washer, but you know, they're quite expensive, 10 to 15 bucks a pop. I used to buy those, but I found out that there's some household items that I had lying around the house that you probably have lying around the house that do even a better job, in my opinion, at getting your washer clean. Now this method I'm about to show you works for both top loading washers as well as front loading washers. Now the first thing you want to do is get yourself some baking soda and pour two cups into your washing machine or one box. This is a one pound box. I just usually dump the entire thing in. It's only one buck and it usually you know, equates out to about two cups. Now once you've got the baking soda loaded into your washing machine, you're going to want to run a complete cycle on the hottest and the longest you have available. Mine, you know, I can set it to about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I put it on hot water and you're good to go. Now the baking soda acts as a mild scrubber in your washing machine and it'll help eliminate any odors that have accumulated over time. Now once your baking soda cycle is complete, you're going to want to take some distilled white vinegar and pour two cups into your washing machine and do the same thing. Run another cycle for the longest and the hottest that you have available. Now a little side tip here of what you can do is take some essential oils like lavender, eucalyptus, peppermint, things like that, add that to the white vinegar, the two cups of white vinegar, and add that to the washing machine. I, add, I noticed that kind of creates a nice little scent. Now this mixture of white vinegar will help disinfect your washing machine. Now I wanted to go over a couple quick additional tips that I recommend to keep your washing machine odor free and maintained. So tip number one is a lot of people, you know, already know where there's moisture, there's usually funk. So when you're done, you know, doing a cycle of clothes on your washing machine, leave your door open and let all that moisture evaporate. Otherwise it can sit in there and just get stale and start to develop a funk. So I leave this thing open all the time immediately after I'm done with a wash cycle and usually leave it open until I'm done with my, uh, or I'm ready for my next uh, load. Tip number two is open up your dispenser tray, remove it if possible, but you're gonna to wanna to take a toothbrush and some hot water and soap and just scrub everything inside those trays there, all the nooks and crannies, get it as clean as possible. Now tip number three, on front loader type machines, if you open your door, there's a rubber a ring that goes around the entire circumference of the door opening. I would recommend taking a toothbrush, soap and water, and just giving that thing a good scrub and wipe down, make sure that thing's clean. All right, tip number four, if your washing machine has a filter, I'd recommend either cleaning it or replacing it at least twice a year. On side or front load machines, the filter is usually located at the bottom here, you can pull it straight out, or on top load type machines, it's inside on the side, you can usually find a door where your filter is located, but that'll just greatly help uh, keep your, your washing machine running in top condition and uh, keep it odor free because there's a lot of gunk that accumulates in those filters. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and or informative on how to clean your washing machine at home using nothing more than white vinegar and baking soda, which you probably already have around your house like I do. It works really, really well. And But yeah, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and comment below. I'd love to hear if you gave this uh, method a try and I'd love to hear how it worked for you. So hope to see you in the next video and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.